Last night was the first debate between Scott Perry and Janelle Stelson. Today we have the first poll in the 10th Congressional, and the results may surprise you. Dennis Owens has the numbers. Good afternoon to you, Mallory. Polling has been very scant in this very important congressional race until now. Harrisburg-based Susquehanna Polling and Research released a new one today, and it shows Democratic challenger Janelle Stelson leading six-term Republican incumbent Scott Perry 48 to 39 with 11 percent undecided and 5 percent margin of error. Perry is also upside down in this poll on the favorables. 38 percent view him unfavorably in the district, 27 percent favorably. For Stelson, a longtime television anchor, 40 percent view her favorably, only 20 percent unfavorably. Jim Lee is the president of Susquehanna Polling and Research. I was surprised that more people actually view him negatively than favorably, but I think all this co controversy around Scott Perry for the last three years since the January 6th insurrection has caught up with him a little bit, and he's having a hard time getting out in front of it. By the way, this poll has Kamala Harris leading Donald Trump at the top of the ticket in the 10th congressional, 46-41 in 2020. Lee says Trump won the district by four points, so either the district has changed or voters have changed their preferences. And uh, they seem, uh, so anyway, uh, that's the very interesting thing. We have one more debate coming up uh, next Tuesday with the attorney general candidates. That's right, Dennis. So I had a question. Stelson and Perry, they seem to agree on a number of issues. Why do you think that is coming from two different parties? Well, that is because it is a Republican majority district. Janelle Stelson knows she's going to get all the Democratic votes, or at least she's assuming that. She needs to entice Republicans to come over. So as moderate as she can present herself is important. So on some of those things, she's going to agree. Very good. And I also saw that she was sitting, he was standing. That's Why was correct. That? And we do want to give her a shout out because she sprained her ankle the day before the debate. She didn't cancel. She was in a boot, but she did need to sit down. So we thank her for fighting through that. All right, Dennis, yep. thank you. All right.